This eyewear brand makes the best acetate frames in the world. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you why. We're going to be showcasing five of their best frame styles. And then finally, we're going to be giving them their SF score. So hi, I'm Robert, style and vision consultant here at the Spectacle Factory. And it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And if you're looking for your perfect acetate frames, LA Eyeworks is the brand to look at. And I don't say that lightly. We featured on this channel many of the best brands out there. But LAI works for me stand apart. So I've actually picked out my top five LAI works frames, which each features a different element of what makes LAI works not only cool, but also incredibly well made. So at number five, we're going to start with the Hardy. Now the Hardy is probably the most versatile LAI works frame in that it will suit pretty much anybody. It's a beautiful crystal frame with just the faintest hint of like a blue gray. So there's just that tiny bit of color in there. And that's not a surprise because LAI works make, as you can see, incredible frame colors. The Hardy meanwhile is extremely neutral being a crystal frame, but that is not only on trend, but also a perfect match, as you saw with my gas pair, to a lens tint. And crystal frames with a tint are one of the most quintessential looks in eyewear. I think what makes the Hardy so cool is that it is quite a unique shape, actually. At first glance, it might seem fairly ordinary, but actually, if you compare this to most other crystal frames, they'll come out either squarer or rounder. And I like that the Hardy is somewhere in between. And coming up with a shape that is fairly unique, but also so wearable, is an art form. And Guy Garardi is a master of the craft when it comes to eyewear. She's the genius, along with her business partner, Barbara, behind LA Eyeworks, founded in the 80s with a completely new approach to eyewear, one that was more fun, more artistic, and much less serious. The Hardy encapsulates that because it is a very fun frame. I love how it looks, and like all LA Eyeworks frames, I love how it feels as well. Now on to number four, and that goes to the Wally. Quirky name, and to be honest, LA Eyeworks love quirky names. Anything outside of the box, that is what they do. And whilst the Wally, again, might be a somewhat conventional shape, the coloration is anything but. This is their badass blue colorway. And whilst a brand like Barton Pereira that takes itself a bit more seriously might go for midnight blue, badass blue just has so much more character to it in its name. Now, I actually prefer midnight blue as a colorway overall. I think it's a little bit more subtle, more to my taste, but this frame makes such a statement. and. That is my next point about LA Eyeworks is they make incredible statement frames without necessarily being the chunkiest. There's a massive trend in eyewear towards super thick acetate frames with brands like Arlem, brands like Jack Marie Marge, of course, Robert LaRoche, and many, many more doing that super thick, super bold look. LA Eyeworks are bold and characterful glasses without going to the extreme. And they do that by combining interesting shapes with beautiful colors. And ultimately that's all an acetate frame needs to be. Any embellishments beyond that are superfluous. And the Wally is an exemplary piece of craftsmanship as well with seven barrel hinges on the inside, HD Japanese acetate, which we're about to discuss. And I also love the three dots in the corner where the hinge is riveted to the front and on the temple as well. The Wally is an ultra cool frame, probably the coolest frame in that style that you can get today and that's what makes it number four on my list. Number three on my list is the Pirate. And this is where we're gonna to touch on quality. After all, I started this video by saying that LA Eyeworks are the best quality acetate frames in the world. Why is that? Well, apart from being great styles, and great styles can come at any price point. You know, gas do great frame styles at a quarter of the price, well, a third of the price of LA Eyeworks. And of course, style is subjective, but taking away the style for a second, the quality of LAI works is, in my opinion, unmatched. The smoothness of the acetate. So each frame is handmade in Japan using Japanese acetate. What's the difference with Japanese acetate? Well, it's prepared in such a way that it retains its moisture for longer. They actually age the acetate in advance so that the initial period when acetate is new, when it loses a lot of its moisture, is over with by the time the frames start production. What that means for you as a wearer is that these frames get less brittle, they dry out less, they retain their glossiness, and they are softer. So compared to Chinese-made and Italian-made acetate frames, Japanese acetate is a level above. And there are many brands, in fact, most of the top eyewear brands now are producing their frames in Japan. I would say that most high-end brands, and I'm talking you know, really good quality brands, so this is not to take anything away from them, but if you look very closely at the acetate, there are very minor surface defects. Nothing, and I'm being pedantic here, you know, nothing that would stop you from buying them, owning them, and loving them. 
But when you look at the attention to detail and the simple perfection of the polishing on any LAI works frame, it's impeccable. And I mean impeccable. We've sold hundreds of LAI works frames now over the last couple of years, and I've never seen a single pair come from their factory with any imperfection, any mark, even under very, very close, intense inspection. But what does having a better quality acetate actually mean? Well, number one, it looks better. It's highly polished, it's glossy. From every angle, it will catch the light and shine and glow on your face. But not just that, it's also much softer on the skin. And an LAI works frame, I don't think there's an exception to this rule, every LAI works frame feels so beautiful. It feels like part of you. It feels organic to the face. The Pirate is a perfect example of that. We featured this frame on the channel before. It almost won my frame of the year, my ladies frame of the year for last year. We're getting close now to the best LAI works frame. And number two is the Gilroy. Now this is a new release from LAI Works. We only just received this this week, but already it's one of my favorites. This is a great rounder frame for people who don't wear round glasses, but want something that little bit rounder. And the main reason why I love the Gilroy is the rolled edge to the acetate that they've achieved. This can only be done by hand. It's very difficult to show on camera. With this one, they've actually softened the edges. And that means that this frame is rounded from all dimensions and all aspects. Such a cool way of finishing the frame and one that I've rarely seen before. And I think that also works particularly well with this burnt orange color, which first glance you might think is not for you, but actually when you see it on the face, it looks phenomenal. I love how this frame looks and I can't wait to pair it with some amazing tints. It's a great frame for that as well, being semi-transparent. The Gilroy showcases not only the quality of the materials, but the quality of the craftsmanship as well. You can tell that this is a handmade Japanese frame. And one last detail that also showcases that craftsmanship is the winged temples. So with all that said, it's an incredibly cool frame. But not quite as cool, in my opinion at least, as the Lagos. The Lagos has been my favorite LAI Works frame from the start. I showcased this initially like two years ago now, and I said how much I loved it, which if you know me, you'd be surprised because I generally hate rectangular frames. I think they are pretty boring, and it's a shape that generally you should avoid in eyewear. Well, LAI Works have taken their magic touch and applied it to a rectangle, in the Lagos and actually made it so cool, fun and unique. And what perfect example of their artistry than this. So what we see actually here is a beveled top edge and then that's finished around the front. So it really does create beautiful three dimensionality on the frame. We've got a slightly thicker temple and because it's semi-transparent, it exposes the lovely metal temple inlay and the triple rivets as well on the side and on the front. A really, really cool look and the perfect summary to everything that LA Artworks do. So hopefully you can see why LAI Works are one of my favorite brands overall, and in my opinion, the best quality manufacturer of acetate glasses. But now it's time to give them their SF score. So starting with style, and of course, style is inherently subjective, as I always say. LAI Works frames are not overall, for me, they're not my personal style. But if you are the right character for an LAI Works frame, there's simply nothing better. They've managed to carve their own fun niche within the eyewear space. So I'm going to go with a nine out of 10 for style. In terms of originality, LA Eyeworks frames generally are original in the shapes and colors, but not necessarily in their materials. And that's the only thing that's gonna hold them back from a perfect score. They're going to get an eight out of 10 for originality. When it comes to craftsmanship, that's a really tricky one. When it comes to craftsmanship, they're very close to the top. If you look at the pure craftsmanship of the acetate itself, that would be an easy 10 out of 10. But of course these frames have minimal embellishments and that is part of the style that is actually appealing to me. But there are frames that do take craftsmanship a step further where there is just that little bit more intricacy and detail to them. And that's just gonna stop them getting a perfect score. We're gonna go for a nine out of 10 for craftsmanship. When it comes to comfort, these are frankly the most comfortable acetate frames that I'm aware of. They're not quite as comfortable as lighter weight titanium frames, of course, but they're also not far off. We're gonna go with an eight out of 10 for comfort. And finally, durability. The hinges are very durable with LA Works frames, but that's about the most you can do with an acetate frame. Acetate itself is still going to break if exposed to the right stress. That said, one element of durability is how good the frames look after a number of years. And because of the aging process and the fact that they use Japanese acetate, these will outlast most acetate frames. And therefore we're gonna go with a seven out of 10 for durability. So that gives these frames an SF score of 8.2 which is a pretty high score, and I think they deserve it. But what do you think? Are LA Works glasses the best acetate frames in the world? Or is there better out there? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this showcase, give us a like, 
and subscribe to the channel for more of the best eyewear content on the internet. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.